live. This is 8 News Now at 6. Well, thank you for joining us for this very special edition of 8 News Now at 6. I'm Christy Ann Klein. And I'm Dave Corvassier. And it is special because after 27 years on the air here in Las Vegas, you are watching Dave's final newscast <laughs> right here on Channel 8. Well, it is great to share it with you, Christy Ann, and with all the wonderful Channel 8 viewers who've been so supportive all these years. Yeah, we had a luncheon today at Maggiano's Little Italy Inside Fashion Show Mall. The room was packed with friends, both current and former co-workers, as well as city and county leaders and they were all there to send Dave off including familiar faces like Paula Francis and Gary Waddell and Dave even received proclamations from the city and the state. How about that? And we will talk more about Dave's career here in Las Vegas throughout the next hour but first let's check in on your weekend forecast. We got Ashley Conroy in for Ted. Ashley. Hey Dave, Christian. Well, beautiful night out there. Uh, certainly a nice send off for our weather tonight for uh, Dave. A gorgeous look from our Molaski cam. A nice clear skies. What we're seeing right now is fair weather for tonight and most of the day tomorrow. I'll talk more about that in a minute. Uh, but our current conditions, it's 55 uh, degrees outside. We're about five degrees cooler than we were this time yesterday. We have a wi uh, winds that are going to be making a comeback uh, going on into tomorrow. So some of our temps around the valley, Henderson 47, North Las Vegas 53, Boulder city year at 50 degrees uh, right now this evening. We're going to see those mid 50s around 7 o'clock and then we're going to dip down into the 40s uh, by 9, uh, 11 o'clock over the evening and then we're going to see some mix of clouds by tomorrow morning. We're going to be nice and cool in those mid 40s but much cooler weather is on the way for tomorrow evening. We're going to see a comeback with breezes uh, hitting our valley and then by Sunday we're going to be in those chilly 50s. Much more on that coming up my full weather now forecast in a few minutes. Back to you. Sounds good, Ashley. A oh, more one October shooting survivors will benefit from the Las Vegas Victims Fund as donations have reached $22 million. The committee in charge of the money has released a final version of the protocol specifying who qualifies and who doesn't. Hey, News Now reporter Karen Castro breaks it all down. I'm very pleased. Um, we kind of felt left out. Under the draft protocol for the Las Vegas Victims Fund, Gary Wise wouldn't have qualified. Under the final version, he does. It's going to make things a little bit easier as I have not been able to work since the event. Wise was treated for a gunshot wound and released the same night. He is among the more than 500 victims injured during the 1 October massacre. They knew my injury where I was shot. It didn't hit an artery or anything, so I wasn't as life-threatening. But why still requires medical treatment as bullet fragments remain in his body? The Las Vegas Victims Fund Committee is expanding the protocol to include all victims who were treated for physical injuries as long as they were seen by a doctor by October 10th. The draft only included those with serious wounds that required at least one overnight stay at a hospital within 48 hours of the shooting. Well, we heard um, very compelling stories from people who had been shot or physically injured one way or another who were not hospitalized who said that they should be included in the dis distributions from the fund. Priority will be given to the families of the 58 victims killed and those who were seriously injured followed by survivors like Weiss. It's going to be able to help us because I don't have insurance and without having the job now it's definitely going to help a lot. Karen Castro, 8 News Now. Now, the application is expected to be available by the end of the year. Claims can be filed between January 2nd and the 31st. Dave. And there's also a pool of money provided for victims by the state. But even though more than 22,000 people attended the Route 91 show, very few have tried to take advantage. 8 News Now reporter John Langler live near Mandalay Bay with a closer look. John. Dave, good evening to you. Of course, we all know the labyrinth that exists in healthcare when it comes to filing claims for insurance reimbursements. The state of Nevada tried to make things a little bit easier for survivors and victims of the 1 October shooting, but it hasn't been easy. What is it like to be a victim? I was trampled. Christine Caria is still finding out. Last night, I got a really good night's sleep, but the previous three weeks, I hadn't. She was at the Route 91 Harvest Festival. So a lot of it has to do with sleep and nightmares and triggers. Since the shooting, she's become an advocate for fellow victims, but she's also navigated her own path through the maze of counseling, health care, and insurance claims. Ticket lost wages it was really difficult. I got denied three times. Nevada's Victims of Crime program says it's received more than 4,000 claims for financial help. Caria filed one of them. There are $11 million available from the state, 
Those impacted by 1 October have a year to apply and they're encouraged to save items from that show. All to make claims easier to process. Caria says several, easy I mean, isn't the word she would use. Of other independent contractors, bartenders and such that have been denied even though they have doctor notes after doctor notes and they haven't, there's been no response or help for them. Nevada officials say they've been inundated with claims. It wasn't able to say how much has been paid out so far, but Caria says other victims have been frustrated. We call it survivor brain. Um, you just can't function. You can't, you don't know how to get the, the resources that you are, that are there for you for counseling. And I don't think that it's victim of crimes issue. I think it's because this should be a national problem. It's just way too big. Again, the state is encouraging anyone who may have been affected by the shooting at the Route 91 Harvest Festival to apply for help. Uh, we have a complete list of what the state suggests, what it's offering, and how you can go about it on our website, lasvegasnow.com. Reporting live, John Langler, 8 News Now. Thank you, John. Another twist in the trial surrounding the armed standoff in Bunkerville more than three years ago. A government employee may have flipped for the defense. The I team's Vanessa Murphy is in the newsroom with more information on a controversial memo. Vanessa? Yeah, well, this memo is circulating, which appears to be from a BLM special agent to the Department of Justice. According to the document, he considers himself a whistleblower. The agent claims his fellow BLM agents acted inappropriately, and he's accusing the acting U.S. attorney of prosecutorial misconduct. The allegations he's making have the potential to derail this case. And by the way, the judge is already considering a mistrial. That goes back to questions about the prosecution not being forthcoming with evidence. Jurors have been released until Wednesday while the judge reviews the matter. As far as the memo, a Washington state representative shared it through social media. Special Agent Larry Wooten wrote about what he calls his observations about the investigation surrounding the armed standoff in Bunkerville in 2014. He said he saw bad judgment, lack of discipline, incredible bias, unprofessionalism and misconduct, as well as likely policy, ethical and legal violations among BLM staff, and that he was removed from the case in February after he spoke up. Right now, four men are on trial, cattle rancher Cliven Bundy, his sons Ryan and Ammon, and Montana militia leader Ryan Payne. If convicted of the charges they face in connection with the standoff, they could potentially spend the rest of their lives in prison, but at this point, we don't know if the case against them will even move forward. Now, prosecutors have been arguing that law enforcement officers were intimidated and bullied by a group of protesters in the fight against the federal government over Bundy's cattle, which was illegally grazing on public land. But Wooten is now backing up the claims from the Bundy family and their supporters that it was the federal government being the bully. Again, we're expected to learn more about what could happen with this case Wednesday. Today, we reached out to the U.S. Attorney's Office and a spokeswoman declined to comment. Dave, back to you. Thanks, Vanessa. Well, it's been long overdue, but soon the Blind Center of Nevada is moving to a new and bigger home. For more than five decades, the organization's been helping people with vision loss. 8 News Now reporter Karen Castro takes us inside the new facility. The drywall is windows are installed. Crews are finishing construction of this 35,000 square foot building called Visions of Greatness. So we'll have benches out front so as they're waiting for their ride or they just want to go be outside. President of the Blind Center, Corey Nelson, gave us a tour of their new facility that will allow the nonprofit to double, maybe even triple the number of members they serve. We have a stage over there. Our members love to perform. This great room will be the focal point of the new building. So we'll have 15 tables here. Our members get here in the morning. They chat and become great friends and so forth. The extra space will be used to provide services to children and teenagers for the first time since the Blind Center opened in 1960. We've got a computer lab there. Also new, so a culinary program. We're going to have some celebrity chefs and and have them uh, do the cooking and practice, practice their trade. Members will use their skills to work during special events. The center plans to rent out the great room. In fact, they already have two weddings booked. And perhaps the biggest upgrade is to their electronic recycling program. So we were running it out of, you know, really not even a warehouse. We were just running out of a little building. But now they have a 12,000 square foot warehouse. The program provides jobs and 60% of the center's funds. Yeah, it's gonna be a fantastic, more secure building, 
Um, we're very excited about it. The $8 million expansion is being built next to the existing facility. A few structures have been knocked down to make room for new construction, but one building remains. It will be connected to the new one through a bridge. After nine months of construction, the new Blind Center is set to open January 15th. Karen Castro, 8 News Now. Well, still ahead on the Valley's News Leader, the tributes continue for Dave on his last day here on the Anchor Desk. We'll stroll down memory lane with some of the memorable moments from Dave's time delivering the news here in Las Vegas. And we hear from viewers who have their own well wishes like Las Vegas Mayor Carolyn Goodman. Broadcast journalist, actor, friend to the world, icon in the city of Las Vegas, wonderful human being. Dave, we've grown old watching you stay so young, and it's too early to retire, but if you have to, we thank you for all your wonderful years, everything that you've been to our community, to Boys Town, and to all of us. We wish you only the best and hope that you will enjoy free time, maybe, with Victoria and your daughters. But happy retirement, and again, thank you so much from the city of Las Vegas and from me. If you've been hurt, it matters to me. Call 702-388-GGRM. Season's greetings from all of us at Wheel of Fortune. On Jeopardy, how well do you know? TV nicknames on Bonanza. Ben Cartwright was father to Adam, Little Joe, and this big fella. Ponderosa, the answer on Jeopardy. Tonight at 7 on 8 News Now. Sword and Shield Zone, Saturday night at 7.30 on 8 News Now. I'm attorney Glenn Lerner. Make one call, that's all to 877-1500, and I'll make sure you get every dollar you deserve. 877-1500. Let out your inner child at the Lexus December to Remember sales event. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. Finally, the weight loss solution you've been waiting for. Eight years ago, I discovered the secret of permanent weight loss, lost 80 pounds, and can get the same results or better for my clients. Get the secret of losing up to a pound a day and keeping it off. Rapid weight loss and revved up metabolism from a program so powerful, clients lose three to seven pounds of fat per week and keep it off eating up to 3,000 calories a day. So if you can't lose the weight, then you owe it to yourself to discover this secret. Regaining the weight is now a thing of the past. Total transformation, where before turns into after. At LJ Law, we would like to thank you for trusting us to help you with your family needs throughout the year. So from our family to yours, we wish you Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays! People helping people. It's a guiding principle at Silver State Schools Credit Union. Since 1951, we've been fully vested in the Southern Nevada community we serve. Whether it's setting up your child's first savings account finding a great rate on a loan, buying your first home, or finding the best investment. Our employees are available to put your best interest first. Become a member today and experience the Silver State Schools Credit Union difference. Hey Siri, look up best year end offers. I found them at Prestige Chrysler Jeep Dodge. During the big finish event, get new Jeep Renegades for 40% off MSRP. It will beat any dealer's price. Get to Prestige Chrysler Jeep Dodge. New Monday. Hit it. Hey! It's holiday time. Can we open our presents now? Oh, oh, slow your roll, playa. So take a trip to Christmas past. This guy is killing me. And see how these two first met. That's how it's done, son. Car's rolling. A new Kevin can wait. Then the new neighbors are far from neighborly. Watch your step or we'll go outside and settle this like men. <laughs> new man with a plan after a new Kevin can wait CBS Monday. If you've been hurt in an accident, we'll get you the help and money you deserve. It matters to us. Call GGRM Law Firm, 388-GGRM. You're watching 8 News Now at 6. Hundreds of 8 News Now viewers have left comments on Facebook and Twitter with well wishes for Dave on his last day. Artie writes, Dave, I met you 30 plus years ago. You've been a great newscaster and a gentleman and one who truly cares for the Vegas community. We will miss you. Best of luck. Madison says, Dave, thank you for all of your work for kids in foster care. Your good work does not go unnoticed. Here, here. 
Denise writes, we will miss you so very much, Dave. You're a great newscaster, among the best in my opinion, but more importantly, a great man. You radiate kindness, warmth, and goodness, and Pat and I wish you all the best. Be sure to to the hashtag Celebrating Dave when you post your comments on Facebook and Twitter. Well, if I would have known there was all that love out there, maybe I wouldn't have left. I No, that's so kind of everyone. It's just been um, overwhelming, really. It's been lovely. Just great. Thank you so much. Well, speaking of Denise, it wasn't the Denise that left that Facebook <laughs> no, comment. I was looking at that. I was like, okay. Uh, which Denise is that? I know, when I first saw that, I went, well, Denise, that was so nice of you to yeah. do that on Facebook. I've been busy doing She's other things, been too. Busy, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, many of you know Dave as, you know, the newsman who mm -hmm. has been uh, coming into your living rooms for more than 25 years. So we wanted to show you another <laughs> side of Dave. Uh, when I talked with him earlier this week, he admitted that he really has watched our industry evolve, and he's seen a lot come and go over the years. The yeah. business has changed so much since you started. Yeah. And, uh, you know, not to tell old stories like, you know, hey, well, I remember when. <laughs> but uh, I, I distinctly re do remember when I was uh, a beat reporter uh, at a station in the Midwest when Char well, Walter Cronkite retired. Oh, yeah. And I was out on the street. What do you think about Walter's, you know, retiring? Uh, so, you know, it goes back that far. And, of course, after that was Dan Rather. And uh, you see the march of time in the media. You know, you see how it changed. Well, you were the first person to introduce me to Twitter. <laughs> and I'm, I'm with Dave, that's 140 <laughs> characters. That's never going to catch on. That? And you, you're always been sort of an early adopter with that kind of stuff. I like the trends. And I'm, I'm, I'm a geek, and I like uh, the newest thing, the latest thing to come out. I'm usually there trying it, at least. Yeah. Um, you think you're going to miss that sort of pace of the newsroom? I'm going to miss that energy, yeah. especially now that I'm an older guy, uh, working with younger people. That really keeps you uh, on top of the latest trends and what's going on and what does YOLO mean and you know those kind of I'd hear I hear it from them and and it keeps me yeah it keeps me energized I'm gonna miss that. He's been keeping busy. It's taken him like probably a month to clear out his desk, just like <laughs> box after box over the past month. We are really going to miss you. Uh, instead of the five uh, days of Christmas, we have been doing the five Daves of Christmas. So if you missed it, uh, let's start out with number five. We started, this is kind of like the Norman Rockwell photo. This is Dave <laughs> as a baby. I swear this looks like a stock photo you'd find on Google. Uh, the fourth days of Christmas, he grew up and joined a high school band where he played guitar, mean guitar, I hear. Uh, then his wife wife snuck us this photo when he started sporting the mustache that everyone just adores and then riding his motorcycle and then in this next photo we swear he is just channeling his best magnum pi <laughs> he tells us this is the water of san francisco but it looks like he's on his way to cuba and then we've got our final daves of christmas and what more fitting picture uh, than with Dave surrounded by the four ladies in his life, his wife and his three gorgeous daughters, mm -hmm. as we wrap up our five Daves of Christmas. And we'll get a better look at those daughters and wife here, because they're in the studio tonight. So they man, that was taken last Christmas, and I am blessed in many ways by all the women in my life. Yes, well, uh, and here again. Right, here we are. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> and, you to, and you and Denise yes. and Christiana Standing as well. Standing in for yeah. Ted, so it yeah, works out to, perfect. It's great to have you here today, Ashley. Yeah, yeah, on your last day. Mm -hmm. How about that? I just can't believe and it. you wore and, red. That's great. And I wore red, right, <laughs> <laughs> for Christmas and for Dave. Yeah, but I grew up watching you uh, in the Valley, and so it's just, it's incredible. You're one of the inspirations and reasons that I got into the business. Wow. So it's really cool to work Thank alongside you, you and Thank be you here on your last day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, let's take a look, a uh, live look outside right now. This is looking from our Mulaski cam. Absolutely gorgeous night out there. We have really fair weather uh, today saying goodbye to those winds that we saw yesterday, uh, but we're going to say hello to the winds again uh, by tomorrow evening. So let's take a look at our current temps around the valley. It's 55 on the strip. Uh, we have 48 out in Summerlin, a little bit cooler down there. Uh, 46 St. Rose Parkway, 54 Henderson. Uh, Nellis, you're uh, standing at 47 degrees. Uh, some of our regional temps, Pahrump, you're at 53 degrees right now. Boulder City, 50. Mesquite, you're hanging tight at 50 and Laughlin at 57 uh, degrees. Looking at some of our temperatures around the country, uh, we have pretty mild uh, weather in the southwest. We have a 46 degrees there in Denver, but where we're seeing some colder weather, you can see in the upper Midwest, Minneapolis at 18 degrees, Chicago 28 degrees. Not a surprise there to have temps in the 20s, but looking down into Atlanta, 27 degrees. So very cold there, especially when you go a little bit further south, looking at Florida, that's in 60 degrees. So quite the temperature difference. 
Looking at our satellite radar map, we have sort of this blanket, thick blanket of clouds uh, covering over uh, most of California, bringing in showers, always much needed showers into California into northern portions. But unfortunately, we're not seeing that rain into southern California and uh, still under fire weather warnings right now, a majority of the greater Los Angeles area uh, starting uh, tomorrow and going into Sunday. Uh, so we continue to monitor that Thomas fire. That's the largest fire, the one that's outside of Ventura, uh, uh, 252,000 acres burning. It's uh, only about 25, 35% uh, uh, contained as of right now. So certainly uh, still continues to be a critical situation. We're going to see a wind advisory for the far western portion of Clark County. So think Spring Mountains, Mount Charleston area starting tomorrow evening and going into Sunday. And we're going to see some stronger winds for uh, some of our uh, Colorado River Valley and some of our outlier areas. Mount Charleston is going to see some winds picking up into the teens. We're going to see some gusts in the 20s. And some areas are going to be under that advisory uh, with winds that are 40 miles per hour. So tonight we have that low of 43 degrees. Nice fair weather, but for tomorrow we're going to have uh, breezy conditions moving into tomorrow evening, and then we're going to be in the 50s, guys. So we actually should be in the 50s for this time of year, but we've been warmer. Then we're going to jump back into the 60s, and then we're going to jump back down into the 50s again. It's not even so it, winter yet. Yeah, we, we don't Crazy. even know what to think, right? <laughs> and those overnight <laughs> lows in the 30s. Yes, and oh, with the wow. winds. So, uh, Saturday night, it's going to feel a lot colder than that. So, ooh, okay. chilly. <laughs> Brutal. Thanks, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> okay, Golden Knights, how about them? Beating the best, and it's not a fluke. Yeah, the team won again last night, beating the champs this time. <laughs> you know, there are a lot of people who've been following hockey for a long time. They're saying this team actually is pretty legit. We've known that for a while here in Las Vegas, haven't we? More on last night's emotional win. Plus, we'll go live to Fremont Street for the annual Las Vegas Bowl pep rally. Prior to Saturday's big kickoff, John Treach is down there live. That's coming up next right here on Channel 8. It's the Las Vegas New Year's Eve countdown to 2018. Live from the Strip with the hottest acts in Vegas. Countdown to 2018 with us in Las Vegas. New Year's Eve starting at 8 p.m. Only on 8 News Now. The seven-day forecast on 8 News Now is sponsored by Walker Furniture. Ho, 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 hold up there, Las Vegas. It's the end of the year already, and I'm way behind. So Chapman is slaying prices by up to $15,000. Help us wrap up the year by saving up to $15,000 on every new Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, and Ram. Then stuff your stocking with 0% financing for 72 months. That's free money for six years. We're slaying prices all December long during our big finish event by up to $15,000 at the Chapman dealership nearest you. Two ways to win this holiday season. Wheel of Fortune Big Time Bonus Jackpot starts at 10,000 and must hit by 20,000. And just in time for the holidays, Jumbo Jackpot is back. Starts at 50,000 and must hit by 100,000. When it hits, everyone playing with a card gets up to $100 in free slot play. Any day, any time, any machine. Only at Station Casinos, Palms and Fiestas. Have a car? A title? Let Title Max stuff your stocking with holiday cash you need. No matter if you've been naughty or nice, Title Max accepts all credit types. Go by one of our 1,200 locations, get the cash you need in as little as 30 minutes. Go to TitleMax.com to see how much cash you can get. I got $1,000. $3,000. $10,000. So this holiday, if you need cash, bring your title to Title Max and you too will say, I got my title back with Title Max. Get your title back with Title Max. Every day we help people hurt in accidents. Do you know the compensation you're entitled to right now and in the future? Do you need our help? Go lightly and associates 222-3333. Frustrated with your glasses? Tired of those red marks on the bridge of your nose? Or do you just want a more youthful appearance? Seams LASIK and Eye Center has a solution for you. Whether you're nearsighted, farsighted, or have an astigmatism, you can trust Dr. Seams with more than 20 years of experience in refractive and cosmetic surgery using only the latest technology. Improve your vision and your appearance at Seams LASIK today. Call 702-948-2010. See Seams to see your best. The year's best gift is at the number one Fiat dealer, Tobin Fiat Alfa Romeo. During the big finish event, 
Buy a new Fiat 500 for only $99.99. Sober Fiat, Alfa Romeo on Jones and Sahara. Sports on 8 News Now is sponsored by South Point Hotel and Casino. Well, how about this? The Golden Knights have beaten some of the best teams in the league, and last night they beat the defending champions. The Knights are already making history. Fastest expansion team to reach 20 wins. Last night was an emotional game for Mark andre Fleury, the former Penguin, had to face his old team. He was brilliant in goal, stopping 24 or 25 shots he faced, and then this. Seldom used John Merrill, the game-winning goal, his first of the season, and it came at the right time. And with Fleury in goal, boy, don't think he didn't have butterflies last night. Um, it's pretty crazy, you know. That's uh, you get uh, still get goosebumps out of it, you know. It's um, we're lucky to play such a great game, you know. Obviously, to have su such great supports, you know, in Vegas and Pittsburgh. Um, that's something you try for, right? It's always uh, you don't have that feeling because it's it's uh, Ahala, streaking to the Penguin Zone, drops it, and Merrill scores. You, you just miss being around the boys when you're not playing, and. Uh, to be a part of it and to have a goal like that is really awesome. Pretty awesome indeed. Knights have today, tomorrow off. They're home with Florida on Sunday afternoon at 5 o'clock. Hey, one of the longest running annual events in Las Vegas is the Las Vegas Bowl. And when Bowl Week rolls around, the highlight coming up Friday night, the annual pep rally. That's where fans and bands and a few players gather over on Fremont Street. And since it's so fun, we sent John Treach out there to put a nice spin on what's become one of the highlights of the week, John. Yeah, thank you, Chris. Ducks, Broncos, sport spectacle. The Fremont Street is so Vegas for this week. The 26th bowl game here in town has been a great opportunity for both Boise State and Oregon to immerse themselves in the city and get involved in the community. And it's been a great experience for them. And as you can see, there's a lot going on. And we're not even talking about the game. Joined right now by the proud director of the Las Vegas Bowl, John Sassenti. And John, what do you make of this week? How would you assess the fun you've had? I'll tell you what, it's been an unbelievable week. Uh, we, we're just thrilled. When you have two schools that are this, these kind of brands in college football with the fan bases that they have, the fans, the players, they've just made an unbelievable bowl week. And you're seeing a little bit of it down here at Fremont Street tonight. And Oregon star player Tyrell Crosby from Green Valley High School is going to be wearing the number 58 to honor you know, those victims from October 1st. How proud of you of that gesture for this city? I'll tell you what, and, and that's all him. He came up with the idea. What a classy move. What a great idea. Uh, I saw him today. I gave him a big hug. And he goes, this is my city. This is my city. He goes, it was a no-brainer. I mean, it, it, what, what a great, great kid that we should all be very proud of in here in Las Vegas. Awesome. Thank you, John. Yeah, Thank you. tribute, triumph. This game has it all. Kickoff tomorrow is at 12.30. Should be a great game between Oregon and Boise State. Reporting live from the Fremont Street Experience, John Streets, A Sports Now. All right, thank you very much, John. Always a, a lot of fun there. Hey, since this is Dave Carbassier's last show, we reached out to the governor, and guess what? He called a special session in honor of the broadcasting legend. The governor lives in Carson, but watches Dave on Channel 8 all the time. They become TV brothers. You've always been there for me, and I thank you. That. Dave leaving the comfort of the newsroom and venturing off on new paths. The governor leaves this advice. It's ambitious, yes, but we've never shied away from making the bold choices. Bold and brave this new adventure you're taking. I congratulate you on your selected role in history. For you and I will shape future generations. Who knows what lies behind Dave's next door, maybe something beyond your wildest dreams. It could happen. Oh, we hope it does. Look at the standing <laughs> ovation. The standing <laughs> ovation. How about that? That was very nice of the governor and you. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. That's Thanks, funny. Chris. All right. Still a lot more news ahead at 6.30. <laughs> the deadline tonight to secure health care coverage under the Affordable Care Act. What you need to know if you've waited until the last minute to enroll. Uh, but first, keep your messages for Dave coming on his last day here at Channel 8. Rudell writes, man, he feels like family. Been watching Channel 8 since I moved here in 92. Gonna miss seeing you on TV. Take care, Dave. Enjoy your retirement. Karen says, Dave, you will be missed. Channel 8 News is the best there is. And Peggy writes, wishing you a 
long and wonderful retirement. We've been watching you for the past 21 years and you've become a part of my family. Use the hashtag Celebrate Dave when you're posting your well wishes on our Eight News Now Facebook page and Twitter. Too few to mention. Dollar Loan Center has been helping you have the perfect holiday for over 20 years. Getting a signature loan up to $5,000 is quick and easy. Call us at 702-364-LOAN today. Southwest Medical Associates, making care accessible and convenient with over 350 providers in 30 locations in the Valley, is an 8 News Now Community Pride Partner. Station Casino's STN Sports invites you to watch exciting football action. Sundays on 8 News Now. Want your home to look its best this holiday season? Well, the solution is beautiful, high-efficiency renewal by Anderson replacement windows and doors with our exclusive Fibrex frames that are twice as strong as vinyl and 700 times more energy efficient than aluminum. They let the light in and keep the hot and cold air out all year long. Over 6,000 satisfied Las Vegas homeowners have already experienced renewal by Anderson's no-pressure sales process and award-winning installation. Now that's a better way to a better window. And right now, get our lowest prices of the year with our big buy one, get one half off window and door sale. That's buy one window or door at regular price and get the next one at 50% off with a minimum purchase of four windows or doors. Limited appointments available. So hurry, schedule before December 31st. Call Renewal by Anderson of Las Vegas today. Call 702-381-5986. That's 702-381-5986. with RC Willie. This week, with your purchase, choose a ride-on car for $39 or this sport vehicle for $49. RC Willie. Let Dollar Loan Center help you get the perfect holiday gift this year, even if your credit is less than perfect. Get fully funded online today at don'tbebroke.com. This is 8 News Now at 6.30. And we have some breaking news about Nevada's governor. And we're going to get to that as soon as we can figure out exactly the exact details to tell you. That'll be coming up in just a second. Meantime, it is the final day for Nevadans to sign up for health care insurance through the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare. 8 News Now reporter Brittany Edney shows us some of the how some of the families are reacting to the cost of those plans. We were pleasantly surprised. Sherry Aker says she felt relieved when she discovered there was an affordable health insurance plan available for her and her son. You know? I feel really good. Satisfied, very yeah. satisfied. So we'll just continue on and choose a provider and go from there. And says this health fair at St. Rose Dominican Hospital helped her discover something that works for them. It was very comfortable and very, um, he explained things very well. It was, went very smoothly. Healthcare officials say one challenge they face this year on getting people enrolled is the concern over rate increases. But there are a lot of options out there. This year we're seeing better deals than any year before. Zero dollar plans, very low cost plans available all throughout the state. That provide protection for families. It safeguards you from financial ruin. We're all, I and mean, the cost of medical care is incredibly expensive, especially without insurance. So if you don't have insurance, you have a medical incident, you can easily bankrupt yourself with one hospital. Hospital visit. Peace of mind that you can't put a price tag on. It was um, not a good feeling to know that if something were to occur that that you wouldn't have coverage. Brit All right, and while you can enroll up until midnight, officials want to warn you, everyone not wait until the last minute because the site could crash if there's too much traffic or you might not finish it in time. All right, now on to that breaking news that we mentioned just earlier about Nevada's governor. This is uh, kind of a stunner. Uh, governor Brian Sandoval and his wife, Kathleen, are planning to divorce. There is a statement from the governor 
After 27 years of marriage, Kathleen and I have decided to separate and plan to divorce, the governor's office said in a statement. It's no secret that the demands of public life are hard on a marriage, and ours has been affected in a way that neither of us had envisioned or expected. We both remain committed to our three children and ask that our privacy and the privacy of all of our family members be respected during this difficult time, end quote. All right, still ahead on the Valley's News Leader, is tax reform a done deal? We read into the final language submitted on Capitol Hill to see if it's enough to make everyone happy and keep all Republicans in the yes column for the big vote. But first, everyone is saying goodbye to Dave on his last day, including Nevada Senator Catherine Cortez Masto. Hello, KLAS CBS News team. I am here with a message for Dave Cavassier on his last day at Channel 8. Dave, you're an icon for over 30 years. You've been the voice Las Vegans have heard every night when they turn on the news. For so many of us who have relied on you as a source of thoughtful, credible reporting, this is the end of an era. Thank you for your decades of service to our community. I hope you have a wonderful time today at your farewell party, and I wish you and your family all the best as you embark on this next chapter. This portion of 8 News Now is sponsored by Michael E. Minden Wedding Ring Jewelers. Give a little bit. At Amazon, we've got millions of toys and games to choose from this holiday for kids of all ages, with free shipping on over 100 million items. So visit Amazon and give a little love this holiday. Want to be a luxurious hand cream? Luxurious hand cream? My hands get so dry and cracked from constant washing, I need serious relief. That's why I use O'Keefe's Working Hands, the number one selling hand cream for guaranteed relief of dry, cracked hands. Thanks to O'Keefe's, I got my hands back. Ho, 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 hold up there, Las Vegas. It's the end of the year already, and I'm way behind. So Chapman is slaying prices by up to $15,000. Help us wrap up the year by saving up to $15,000 on every new Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, and Ram. Then stuff your stocking with 0% financing for 72 months. That's free money for six years. We're slaying prices all December long during our big finish event by up to $15,000 at the Chapman dealership nearest you. Some people say personal injury claims are all about the money. Guess what? It is about the money. The money needed by clients to get their lives back together. Go lightly and Associates, 222-3333. Dollar Loan Center is ready to hook you up this holiday season. Looser lending limits, more locations, extended hours, and easier than ever to get up to $5,000 even if your credit is not so great. No checking account required, no added fees, and half the cost of most payday lenders. DLC gives you the most time to pay your loan back. One day, one month, one year, it's up to you. Get funded online at don'tbebroke.com or call 702-364-LOAN today. It's Aliante Hotel, Casino, and Spa's $165,000 Swipe and Win and $50,000 Winner Wonderland Drawing. Now through December 30th, swipe and win every Friday through Wednesday and be an instant winner of dining credits, free slot play, bonus points, and much more. And your play enters you into the Winner Wonderland Drawings each Saturday. 25 winners will be drawn every two hours starting at 3.15 p.m. So head to the Aliante Hotel, Casino, and Spa, a Best of Las Vegas Gold winner. See Aliante Players Club for details. Here at Precision Orthotics and Prosthetics, we'll get you back on your feet or back in the water. Well, Stacy, the NFR is here. Dad, I understand you used to rodeo. Stacy, I have never rodeoed. Well, Mom said you're real good at throwing the bull. Stacy. <laughs> right up the holiday sales event is going on right now at Jim Mars Kia. Buy a new Soul for only $99 per month. Lease a new Optima for only $199 per month. Get 0% interest for 60 months plus $2,000 cash back. If you need money for the holidays, you must come by Centennial at Durango under the American flag. We are stacking them deep and selling them cheap. And remember, if you don't ride here, you can't save here. President Trump may just get his Christmas wish for a tax reform bill that he can sign into law before the holidays. Weisha Zhang has the latest from the legislation on Capitol Hill. Congress has released its final language for a tax reform bill that has been decades in the making. It took a lot of hard work uh, by a lot of people uh, to make this day happen. Texas Republican Kevin Brady is the chairman of the House committee responsible for writing tax bills. Our lawmakers listened to their constituents 
families and businesses, and this tax reform reflects the priorities of the American people. It took a last-minute deal with Senators Marco Rubio and Mike Lee, increasing the size of the refundable child tax credit to make sure the Republicans had enough votes to pass the bill. It's amazing what they can do when they want to do it. Tennessee Senator Bob Corker surprised everyone when he announced he, too, will vote yes. Corker voted against the Senate version of the bill because he was worried about adding to the deficit. In a statement, Corker said he now believes the bill could have significant positive impact on the well-being of Americans and help drive additional foreign direct investment in Tennessee. Even Senators John McCain, who has been in the hospital, and Mississippi's Thad Cochran, who is also ill, are planning to vote yes on the bill. I think John McCain will be here. What about Senator Cochran? I think he will be here also. I'm told he will be here next week. Lawmakers will have the weekend to read the bill before voting on the plan next week. Weijia Jang, CBS News, Capitol Hill. So the House will vote it on Tuesday. Vice President Mike Pence delayed an overseas trip to make sure he's on hand just in case he's needed to cast a tie-breaking vote in the Senate. And as we go to break, we want to take a look at some of the messages left for Dave on his last day here at Channel 8. Robert writes, Dave, you're a class act that will be missed lots. More reporters need to be like you. Good luck with your retirement. Jimmy says he lived in Vegas and always liked Dave. Have a very happy retirement. And Missy writes, I will miss seeing you in my living room. I really enjoyed everything you have done to bring attention to foster children and adoption. You rock, Dave. I wish you all the best going forward. Thanks for the memories. Be sure to use the hashtag CelebrateDave when you tweet or message him. Bring your stuff to life. Search for Life Storage Las Vegas. 2017 is ticking away at Pontiac Nissan's Year End Countdown with our best savings of the year this weekend. New Sentra's $13,988. That's $13,988. New Rogue's now $4,500 off MSRP. $4,500 off MSRP. Year End Savings at Planet Nissan. You never know what deal you'll find. Each time you do the 99. Like deals for pet lovers who go overboard sometimes. I like a good deal. <laughs> okay, then. The house looks like we have eight kids. I'll get it back to looking like we have two-ish. I thought you were getting party stuff. What party? The one in four hours. Yeah! We're gonna need a bigger platter. Uh, definitely. Are you looking to have a little fun this fall? Then you need one of these. And one of these. This is your pass for fun and cash. The Fall Fun Pass by Blue Dog RV. The Fall Fun Pass can be printed at bluedogrv.com. It's worth $300 of in-store credit for parts, service, or supplies. If you buy one of them, the Fun Pass turns to credit. Get to the largest air-conditioned showroom in Las Vegas. Let's have some fun this fall. Warranty forever on all new RV purchases. Automatic emergency braking. It stopped for you. Standard on Nissan's most popular models. Hurry, the 2017s are almost gone. Save up to $4,000 on the 2017 Rogue or save up to 11910 on Titan XT. See Star Wars The Last Jedi now playing. Our overall experience working with California closets was phenomenal. Calm, reassuring. Through happenstance, we ended up paired with our designer, Jen. She was someone who not only was patient, someone who was professional. She's become extended family. She had great insight to help direct me towards those things that could make our dreams come true. We are the Greens, and this is our California Closet story. <laughs> the world is a sick place. Flu germs can survive outside the body up to eight hours. So protect yourself and your loved ones. Get the flu vaccine. It's fast, easy, and often free. And way better than getting the flu. Find the clinic location nearest you at influencenevada.org. 2017 is ticking away at Pontiac Nissan's Year End Countdown with our best savings of the year this weekend. Save 6000 off MSRP on all 17 Maximus, Murados, or Pathfinders. Or no payments for 90 days and included registration. Year End Savings at Pontiac Nissan. Eight News Now. 
the Valley Sports Leader. Monday on Good Day. Las Vegas Mayor Carolyn Goodman joins us in studio. We'll take your questions straight to the woman in charge. That's why some clever crooks are sending expensive packages to their victims' homes. We'll explain. Monday on Good Day. Dave has been reading hundreds of the comments viewers have been leaving for him. Kwanta Wright's going to miss Dave. Been watching you with my grandparents since I was a young girl. Mavis writes, wow, you will surely be missed. I missed you the first time you left and will again. Wishing a wonderful retirement. You've certainly earned it. And Sandy writes, it's great to see Paula and Gary at the luncheon that was earlier today. Dave, you will be missed. Another great anchor rides off into the sunset. Enjoy your retirement. Again, you can leave your messages on Facebook and Twitter and be sure to use that hashtag, Celebrate Dave. How nice is all this? I'm <laughs> truly blessed by all the comments. Thank you so much, everybody who's reached out to say something. It means a lot. It means you, a lot to me. You made a huge difference and in this community. Really, you, you know, you like to think you do, but then when you hear so many people comment like that, you kind of start to believe in it, you know? <laughs> but Impacts Ashley, a lot I, of I didn't realize I was an inspiration to you when you were yeah. a uh, youngster. Yeah, I watched the news with my grandparents, like the girl mm -hmm. in the story, and uh, uh, watch you and Sue on our competitors down the street, right, and so, right. yeah. Yeah. Which doesn't need and to be named. No. No, but we're, <laughs> we'll uh, just down the we're glad you're That's here good. instead of Ted today. Ted right. said our goodbyes yesterday, and Aww. that was nice. But uh, yeah. glad and to I'm sure Ted will be bugging you every day, right? Oh, you know it. He's going to be calling you every day. Dave, yes. what are you up to? <laughs> <laughs> well, beautiful night here in the Valley for Dave's retirement. We actually have nice fair weather tonight, uh, but things are going to be changing by tomorrow evening. So we did reach that official high today of 61 degrees. We were about 5 degrees warmer than where we normally are at 56. Uh, we didn't set a record thankfully but we actually did set a record high earlier this week that's how warm we've been uh, with our temperatures uh, right now uh, 47 degrees in Henderson uh, North Las Vegas 53 degrees Boulder City uh, 50 degrees nice uh, fair winds but again that's going to be changing by tomorrow so windy weekend weather wind advisory for some areas those outlier areas uh, in uh, around surrounding southern Nevada but not here in the Las Vegas Valley then we're going to be chilly in the 50s for the next several days looking at our satellite radar map we have sort of this blue blanket of clouds uh, hovering over California, pushing down through Nevada. Um, but unfortunately, we're not going to see any precipitation, at least not enough to get rid of these fire weather warnings uh, that we're still uh, seeing in Southern California. And of course, that Thomas fire is the largest fire, uh, 252,000 acres. So any precip that could happen there is certainly welcome. Uh, we will see a wind advisory for far portions of Clark County, portions of Lincoln County, as well as Nye County. And tomorrow, with that cold front that's moving through, we can actually get some snow finally up at the mountain, 38 degrees for the high there. It's going to be gusty. Uh, out at the lake tomorrow, we're looking at a high of 58 degrees. And uh, for your extended forecast, we're going to be in those chilly 50s, or I should say seasonal 50s because that's really where we should be for this time of year. Then we're going to bump back up into the 60s by Tuesday and Wednesday. Going to be breezy again. And then we're going to drop. You can see from Wednesday to Thursday, 15 degrees. It's just Mother Nature can't make yep, up its here mind. Here comes the wind again. All right. <laughs> Roll Thanks, with Ashley. Here. Thanks. Well, still ahead on the Valley's News Leader, we are in the last few minutes of Dave Cavassi's final newscast here on Channel 8. And the iTeam's George Knapp joins us with a look at Dave's storied career here at Channel 8 and in the Las Vegas Valley. The seven-day forecast on 8 News Now is sponsored by U.S. Gas and Showtime Car Wash. Come to Mastriani Fashions for the biggest sale of the year. Everything marked down 50 to 70 percent. Right now at Mastriani Fashions, buy one suit and get two suits, two shirts, two ties, and four pairs of socks for free. Plus leather jackets, sweaters, casual wear, and accessories. Buy one, get one free. These prices are for a limited time, so hurry into Mastriani Fashions with the best prices guaranteed or it's absolutely free. For 37 years, Nest Feathering's dedication and innovative attitude has been synonymous with quality and style. 
Let us guide you through the many options to create your personalized space with our fine furniture, accessories, and interior design. Visit Nest Featherings today and take advantage of our retirement sale, saving on many brand name items so you can create beautiful and functional interiors. Nest Featherings. Visit us today. Frustrated with your glasses? Tired of those red marks on the bridge of your nose? Or do you just want a more youthful appearance? Seams LASIK and Eye Center has a solution for you. Whether you're nearsighted, farsighted, or have an astigmatism, you can trust Dr. Seams with more than 20 years of experience in refractive and cosmetic surgery using only the latest technology. Improve your vision and your appearance at Seams LASIK today. Call 702-948-2010. See Seams to see your best. You with two ways to win. Starts at 50,000 and must hit by 100,000. It's Wheel of Fortune Jumbo Jackpot. When it hits, everyone playing at all casinos gets up to $100 in free slot play. That's right, all casinos. Everyone playing wins. Plus, big time bonus is still spinning. Starts at 10,000 and must hit by 20,000. Any day, any time, any machine. Two wheels and more ways to win this holiday season. Belong to the best. Only $5 to start. Ho, 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 hold up there, Las Vegas. It's the end of the year already, and I'm way behind. So Chapman is slaying prices by up to $15,000. Help us wrap up the year by saving up to $15,000 on every new Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, and Ram. Then stuff your stocking with 0% financing for 72 months. That's free money for six years. We're slaying prices all December long during our big finish event by up to $15,000 at the Chapman dealership nearest you. It's the Las Vegas New Year's Eve countdown to 2018. Live from the Strip with the hottest acts in Vegas. Countdown to 2018 with us in Las Vegas. New Year's Eve starting at 8 p.m. Only on 8 News Now. You're watching 8 News Now at 6.30. All night long, yep. we've been sharing your well wishes for Dave down the rights. Enjoy your retirement. May you have many enjoyable years. Yes, Terry yes, echoes that. Have a great retirement. You are very reliable and truthful. Have a great life. And Joanne writes, I'll miss you. I've watched you for 20 years or more. Thank you for Wednesday's Child. And I hope it continues with someone as passionate as you. Take care. Add your notes for Dave. He's still going to be here to read them. Just go to our 8 News Now Facebook page. And of course, it is not a true Channel 8 goodbye until the I-Team has their say. Yeah, George is here. It's been an honor to work aside another legend here in the market. You have naively shared a lot of secrets and photographs with the I-Team. And now you got to pay. You made I a think, big mistake, you know. yep. Oh, you know, after, after you work under the same roof for 14 years, you think you know a guy, and then you're asked to put together the story about his life so far that is photographer Matt Adams and I were able to pull the nooks and crannies of Dave's amazing life and career and we're amazed at some of the things we learned that we never knew until now if you lived in southern Illinois in the late 60s chances are you'd remember the young society an omnipresent rock band whose lead guitarist and vocalist exuded a personal vibe we might now think of as early Elvis Costello Dave Cavassier was born in Iowa, but the family moved to Illinois, where he and his siblings learned about the value of hard work in between the chores and chickens on the family farm. Dave played football, dabbled in student theater, then went off to college where he earned a teaching degree and later a master's. Instead of settling down right away, Dave hit the road. He spent two years moving around North America, much of it atop a motorcycle. The jobs he tried didn't suit him. Construction work, insurance salesman, medical equipment. He took a three-month broadcasting course, and that was it. Soon after, he was spinning records as a DJ for a country western station in New Mexico. A similar radio gig in Grand Junction, Colorado, gave him his first taste of television. He hosted the Big Money Movie on the local ABC station, where he earned his TV chops, interviewing guests during commercial breaks and running movie trivia contests tests for viewers. After a while, Dave coaxed a news director into letting him anchor weekend news cut-ins, then did one-man band
reporting and never looked back. back. This evening, a third night of street violence has erupted in the In cities across Nova Missouri, Nova Missouri, Indiana, and North Carolina, Dave the Newsband's comfortable style and steady hand endeared him to audiences and helped move him inexorably up in the business. Vicki Babu, where is she now? But he wasn't always stuck in the studio. Dave typically was dispatched to the scene of big news events, including national political conventions. The soon-to-be iconic mustache came along for the ride. What the delegates aren't in agreement on are some of the planks in the platform. I, I didn't realize till later on I was really honoring my father, because my father always had a mustache. And I guess I grew up thinking, well, that's, this is what men do men grow mustaches. And so I grew it and, and they hired me that way. Dave landed in Las Vegas in 1985 and helped restore KVBC Channel 3 to news prominence alongside co-anchor and Channel 8 alum Gwen Castaldi and later with Ricky Cheese and other youngsters who became familiar faces in the community. As in previous jobs, Dave spent a lot of time on the road covering political conventions, natural disasters, and not one but two papal visits to the U.S. The battle between state gaming officials... Although he hadn't done any acting since high school, Dave was one of the local broadcasters to land a role in the Scorsese mob drama Casino, playing, what else, an anchorman. It was after that role he said goodbye forever to the stash. In 1998, after 13 years and a measure of success on the air, he left Las Vegas to help care for his aging parents, ended up back on the air in the town where he'd first anchored a newscast, Cape Girardeau, Missouri. But five years later, news director Bob Stodall invited Dave to return to Las Vegas, this time at Channel 8, where Cavassier joined an anchor team that already included two Las Vegas TV legends, anchors Gary Waddell and Paula Francis. For local television, that trio under one roof was the equivalent of the 1927 Yankees. In addition to anchor duties, Dave again was assigned to cover big stories, including Hurricane Katrina, the OJ fiasco. There's a party in Las Vegas tonight. And, and the annual New Year's Eve extravaganzas among the best productions in the country. It seems like these nice fall days are just perfect for getting outside with Wednesday's child. Well, but the most sure. identifiable story of his is, career, uh, one that he's done at every yeah, station I'm along the way in one form or another, is Wednesday's child. He didn't need to be assigned those stories. After all of the awards and accolades, his work with organizations like Big Brother, Big Sister, Boys Town, and others in mentoring kids without parents or role models, helping many to find loving homes, more than 1,700 of them over three decades, easily ranks as the most rewarding part of his career. It was the best use of TV that I could see to ask the viewer to do something to be compelled to have a, make a difference in a child's life and to change the world. How could I say no? <laughs> The decision to step away from TV news after 14 years at Channel 8, 27 years on the air in Las Vegas, 32 years of broadcasting overall was hard but not insurmountable. Dave says he has other things he wants to do, including a voiceover business and non-work-related travel. One suggestion? Maybe dust off that old motorcycle. His former boss, Bob Stodall, told us, quote, Dave's steady hand at the anchor desk will be a hard act to follow. And my wife, kind of the same thing. Uh, you know, she told me the other day, she goes, I don't know where I'm going to get my news now because you've always been my newsman. So I'm going to have to get used to that change as well. Earlier today, I told uh, Dave's wife, Victoria, that uh, we'll call her every night at 6 o'clock yeah. let her know what the news is. I don't know who's going to handle that 11 o'clock duty. And also, Vicki Babu, who was your co-anchor right. a long time ago, she sent a Facebook yep. message today, so she's still around. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Very cool. We've had pro proclamations today from the city and from the state rolling in to wish farewell on his final day in broadcast journalism. And everyone here at Channel 8 signed this great big thank wow. you card. <laughs> and of course, you got to have a sweet treat in your cake. I am yeah. surrounded by all the people I love here, and it's just been a great day. It's been a great week. What a great career. I'm so blessed. Thank you all for your thoughts and wishes, and it's great to have you all here. Thank you so Thanks to you as well for well being done. such great Well done. We are going to miss you, Dave. Thank you for watching, everybody.